All right, Ace Back people. So today I'm going to show you how to convert feet per minute to CFM. That's cubic feet per minute. That's pretty much how we calculate airflow in HVAC. But I'm going to show you today how to use it using your anemometer by Top T's, the TS301. If you're interested in this meter, click on the link in the description. It'll save you 10% off if you use my referral code as 10WWHVAC. So pretty much all you're going to need is your anemometer, your TS301 by Top T's. So we're going to turn that on. You're also going to need a calculator and maybe a stopwatch. So on your units, go to feet per minute. It has several different units on here. Choose feet per minute. It'll be easier to convert this to CFM. And then you have we have our calculator. All right, so the first thing I got to do is measure my grill. I have a seven by nine. My grill size is seven by nine. So now that I know my grill size, I'm going to write that down. So my grill size is seven by nine. So I need to multiply that to get my square foot so square inches so my grill size is seven by nine i'm going to times that it's 63 to convert that to square uh, feet we have to divide that by 144 so 63 divided by 144.43 so I have seven times nine is equal to 63. I have to divide that by 144 to get uh, the square feet. It'll be a total of 0 0.43, 0 0.43. All right, so with this grill up here, obviously there are restrictions in this grill right here. So this is imagine, this is a plastic grill right here. Just imagine if I uh, melted all that plastic and cover one side of that grill up is gonna cover some of this grill up. Now you can you can look up the area factor or your K factor of, of the manufacturer of your grill. I don't know mine, but I'm just gonna say it's like point uh four two. So you can be like point uh seven five, point six five, but you can look on the manufacturer of your grill or whatever style grill you have and try to look up whatever area factor or K factor that you have. So now we need to times that, I have 0.43, now we times that by 0.65. Multiply 0.43 times 0.65. I have 0.28. So 0.28. So I have my 0.28, now I can use my anemometer TS301 all right, so now I take my anemometer and hit hit this man and max button three times. Hit it three times. Now we're giving my average. Hit it three times. It'll give me my average. Okay. So now the reason I said uh, get a stopwatch because you'll kind of have to. I like to go at least a minute three times to just try to find an average. So you want to go all across here several times. I say up to a minute and just kind of keep looking at your anemometer to see if you can get the average. Like I say, we're not, we're not trying to get a perfect CFM reading, but we'll be close. Like I say, you can do this for about a minute. And do that three times to come up with your average. Just for time's sake, I'm only going to show one time. Do this about three times. All right. 
So I'm gonna hold, hold mine right there. As you can see, I got 425. So that 425 is what I'm going to times to get my CFM. That's my conversion right there. So to get my CFM, I'm gonna take the velocity times the 0.28. And that'll give me my CFM. So I'm gonna go uh, in my calculator, I'm gonna go 425 times 0.28 equals, that's 119. That's 119 CFM, 119 CFM. So I got 119 CFM uh, coming out of that uh, register right there. All right, so I got 119 CFM coming out of my register right there. Like I said, I could be off uh, 10%, 15%, but we know we got at least 100 some CFM coming out of there. So that room, this room right here, this 11 by 11. So this 11 by 11 room, I see I got 121. So I like to have at least one cubic feet per square inch. So if this room 11 by 11, I should have 121 CFM uh, coming out of that register. Like I said, I could be off uh, a CFM or two, uh, a certain percentage, but I got, uh, I calculated 119 on average coming uh, out my diffuser, 119, and my room should be getting 121. So I would say that's about a perfect CFM reading that I'm getting uh, in this space right here. All right, so this is the TS301 anemometer by Top Tees. If you're interested in this product, you can use my referral code in the link in the description below. 10 WWHBAC. Click on the link, it'll take you to the Amazon site where you can enter that code. Like I say, this is a quick, handy little tool right here that can be useful just for our air balance and things like that. Remember to control the airflow, you will need dampers at your plenum up there to kind of like manipulate it and to control airflow. But you see the example of this room right here, I pretty much got a perfect CFM reading coming to this room right here. All right though, but I hope that helps as always. Thanks for watching.